I'm Eunice. Welcome back to my channel, Uni and Me. Today is a little bit special because we have many guests with us. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. So we have many audience. Woo. They were wondering what my monthly favorites were, so I invited them. So they're here with me. All right. So first one is gonna be this lip gloss. Uh, it's mini matte. It's a very matte finish lip gloss i want to say but actually um this was wendy's and i just borrowed hers like when we were filming the w show and i actually fell in love with it one of the reasons why i really liked it is that you don't need a lip liner to make your lips look a little bit thicker so just with this lip gloss i just went a little bit over my lip line the the line of my lips and it just my lips look so plumped and sexy and i think this is perfect uh, when you have smoky makeup or even a really light you know daily makeup you can use this and um, I wouldn't say it's very moisturizing because it, the finish was really matte but my lips didn't feel dry at all thank you Wendy it I said must the next one is a mask sheet and you guys know how much I love mask packs mask sheets and this is called a uh, water gel extra force mask and it's the moisturizing type this is very interesting because I got it as a gift from Superman one of my friends but uh, he bought it for me because um, they were selling this at the department store and the person who made this is a really famous actress uh, her name is Tami Pak Tami but she's not like how should I say? She's not the main character in all dramas, but she's like the second main character in all the dramas. And she's a really beautiful actress, Korean actress. She's a mom. And um, usually there are many you know, brands out there that a lot of celebrities start with, but they don't put out like their name in it. You know, they don't say this is mine, you know, like you can try it. So I kind of wanted to really try it because she's like really confident in this. And I really like this because it's great for sensitive skin types and it really helped my um, acne to calm down because these days I sweat a lot and after exercising these red little spots start coming up and uh, it was really hard for me to cool that down but this pack has been really helping me to calm down all the redness and all my acne my third favorite product is dun, 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 dun. I've introduced you to this before and actually I don't have the cover with me because I already opened it but it's Claire's body soap and they have a pore face foot and body soap four different kinds am I missing one Maybe hand. Hand. Okay, Maybe thank you. They have five different kinds, but I chose this because these days I've been breaking out a lot on my cleavage area and my back area because it's summer, I'm breaking out more. So I've been using this soap. I heard that it's great for back acne and the cleavage, or the cleavage around my boob acne, <laughs> boob acne, boobies acne. So I think um, this, uh, I've been using it for a long time, but I've forgotten about it because during the winter time I didn't really need to worry about it because I didn't get any pimples around here but these days I started using it again it's really helping the pimples around my cleavage area and my back area to go away so yeah I wanted to share this I thought it would be perfect to share for summertime all right so the fourth one I thought it would be really fun to bring something that's not a beauty product because I seen many other youtubers share other things and I really wanted to share this magazine it's a big issue um, the surprising thing was I thought this was made in Korea you know before I did the research but uh, basically this is a magazine that supports homeless people and I did my research so this dude named Golden Rodick, he is the founder of Big Issue and his wife, Anita Rodick, uh, she's the founder of the face shop, you know, the cosmetic brand face shop. So it's very interesting. This guy, Godick, uh, he made this Big Issue and it's actually a magazine and whatever, you know, every magazine you purchase, um, you know, the money that was used to make this magazine, they will take that out, but everything else goes to support the homeless people. And I thought that was such a great idea idea like you know in the future like after I retire I always wanted to do something like that like I wanted to do something that can really you know help the people around me so I thought this was very very interesting and this month's a uh, big issue Michael Jackson is on it and I bought another copy so that I can um, share it with my co-workers and my last item is Dun, 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 dun. Isn't this so pretty? 
Um, I really wanted a son of. Hold on. Okay, I gotta get it. Hold on. Okay. It doesn't close. Okay. Okay. Well, this pretty little thing is from Jill Stewart. Got it for, I think, about $25. And in Korea, many older women or moms, they do, they wear um, sun umbrellas. They carry it around. But younger generations usually don't carry around sun umbrellas. But I thought it was so very necessary, especially because I've been getting a lot of more freckles in this area. So even if sometimes I feel embarrassed that I'm the only one wearing the umbrella, uh, sun umbrella, I feel like it's so worth it. And a lot more younger women are in this around. So I thought this will be wonderful to share for my monthly favorites. I really liked it and I wanted to introduce you to it. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will share more of my favorites next month. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!